Just months after putting a Band-Aid over its financial wounds, Fontbonne University is shutting its doors after the summer 2025 session. Fontbonne, a private Catholic university in, in Clayton, says after years of declining enrollment and a shrinking endowment, they can't stay open. First Alert Force Justin Andrews is live on campus tonight digging into the impact that this closure has on students. Justin. Yes, Sam and Corey, the campus here has about, uh, you know, about a thousand students enrolled and it has about 150 faculty and staff members. While those numbers may not seem like a lot, it is still a painful pill to swallow for everyone on campus here. It's not, you know, every day you get to see like your school getting shut down. Fontbonne University students like Michaela Wyatt are still trying to make it make sense. Figuring it out. That's the quickest answer I can give you is just figuring everything out. Everything is just happening at once. She's a fine arts grad student wondering what she's going to do now that her more than 100 year old institution is closing after summer 2025 session. There's still going to be damages and there's still going to be students who are tens of thousands in debt that will not be getting their degree. Sunday, Fontbonne University's Board of Trustees voted to close its doors, pointing to a 15 year enrollment decline and shrinking endowment. The university is working to help its roughly 944 students by continuing to teach classes through next summer in an attempt to graduate as many current students as possible. Our students truly are at the heart of what we want to do here and, and who we want to protect. Fontbonne's president says this situation is breaking her heart. This may be that your dream of graduating from Fontbonne can't be realized, but your dream of getting a college education, a college degree can, and we're going to help you in every way we can. The university will offer additional classes to students at no cost during summer 2024. All students will be given info about completing their degrees at another school if they are unable or unwilling to complete their degrees here. Another local university is facing financial issues as well. In September, Webster University was sued over unpaid rent at its former campus in downtown St. Louis. Back at Fontbonne, many students like Michaela don't know what the rest of her college careers will look like. I really want to continue my education. I want to, you know, be able to graduate. Eminem WashU has a purchase agreement to get this 16 acre campus right now. No word on exactly what WashU plans to do with it. We're live on Fontbonne University's campus tonight. I'm Justin Andrews. First alert for Justin. Thank you tonight. We know.